Hi guys! In this video I'll show you how to make a vacuum pump and which cool experiments you can carry on with it. So, I made a hand vacuum pump, which can create a low pressure in some chamber. How to make this pump I will show in the second half of this video. And now, let's carry on some crazy experiments. A deflated balloon. It's just increasing in a low pressure environment, because pressure inside is becoming bigger than ambient pressure, and balloon is inflating. According to the table of boiling point of water and pressure, water must boil in my chamber at the temperature of 60 degrees. And it's boiling. Some shaving gel. I think it will be more funny with a shaving foam. A liquid soap. Huh, it's pretty funny when it's shaking. Do 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 do! Captain Marshmallow! A party. You can surprise your friends opening a bag of chips without even touching it. A bubble wrap. So it's funny too. Fountain pens are fountaining. A yogurt. To the sky. A coca. A porous chocolate is not boiling, so we just need to heat it a little. A hand gum with some air inside. A Kinder Surprise egg with some ketchup inside. A film jar with soapy water inside. And the mayonnaise cannon! What about velocity of freefall? The lower the pressure, the lower an air drag. So, feather is falling with higher velocity in vacuum than in atmospheric air. And what about sound? A vacuum can transmit a sound waves. So we will not hear this music <laughs> anymore. And that's it. You can carry on another experiments in handmade vacuum chamber like this one. And now I will show you how to make it. You need some stuff from a pet shop and a drug store. And some instruments like a drill, scissors and hot glue gun. As you guess, an enormous syringe will be base for this pump. If you shut a syringe tip with your finger and pull up the piston, there will be a vacuum inside the syringe. But don't you dare to release the piston, because it will break out the front part of syringe and you will get a useless pump. Hmm. Silicon tube is not fit to the syringe tip, so extend it with scissors and put it on the tip. Fix it with some tape. Cut off a piece of the tube to place it between the syringe and the T-connector. Attach two one-way valves to the T-connector like this, so they can pump an air in one direction.
connect one end of the main tube to the input valve and other to the second T connector. Now we need a chamber. Disassemble a drop counter and get a plastic part like this. Drill a hole in the cap of the glass. Grind it for better gluing and attach the plastic part of a drop counter to the cap with hot glue. Connect it to the T connector with some piece of silicon tube. Last end of the T will be using for releasing a vacuum, so you need a valve here. You can use aquarium valve or syringe needle filled with glue. All silicon part of a drop counter squeezed with a letter clip. All three means is working perfectly. And now your pump is ready to pump and your chamber is ready for experiments. But don't forget to release the vacuum before opening the chamber, because <laughs> you just can't open it with vacuum inside. If you invent some interesting experiment with vacuum chamber like this one, please share it with me by leaving a comment down here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.